Now, oh, it's definitely hot here in the underbrush, but I'm ready to introduce you to a third kind of mushroom today. Um, and the telltale signs of this one, you'll see down here on the ground, uh, these uh, red, kind of orangish mushrooms. These ones are totally decayed. Uh, they've been wet and they're no good. Um, but what we're looking for is right here, this is a healthy specimen. You'll see that same color, and if you remove the, well, maybe not that healthy, if you remove the moss, you'll get this lovely orange color. These are actually called lobster mushrooms. And again, it's because they're the color of a lobster and they're very delicious and they're hard to find. And actually these uh, originally were the rustlas that we saw earlier, but they've been infected with this um, plant or a fungus basically that converts them into this. And these are very tasty and very edible. So keep your eyes open for these. Uh, lobster. It doesn't look that good. They're really hard to clean, but if you can get through the stem and get some bugs out, they're really good. And if you look around, you'll see I've got a few other ones here that I'm about to uh, excavate. We'll see where we are. So, lobster mushrooms. Ugly, but... Wow, tasty. look at this last one I pulled up. You'll see that this is uh, in pretty good shape. Um, again, that beautiful color. The top's pretty bad. I'm probably going to cut a lot of that off. I might be left with a stem, kind of like this, but this is really a solid piece. This one's in pretty good shape, too. Oh... Here's a great shot at a lobster. See how this one's just poking up above the ground? You get that beautiful color. It's in really good shape. Um, you can just pluck it from the ground. Wow. Again, remember I talked earlier about field cleaning. These are really hard to field clean, but you gotta get as much dirt off as you can before putting them in your basket. Otherwise, they'll get everything else dirty. So it's good to have a basket with a couple different spaces for mushrooms. And for our last piece on lobster mushrooms, this is what you might find if you're walking along. Look at this great little spot here. There's like four or five young, fresh lobster mushrooms right there on the ground, which I'm gonna be able to harvest here pretty quick. So good find. This is what's called Boomtown. And this doesn't happen very often, but if you look around here, you will see that the forest floor here is, li is littered with uh, chanterelles. Basically, can't, we can't even count how many there are here. I would guess there's probably about 20 in this general vicinity, and every time we look up, we see a couple of more. So, um, and these are just, these are in beautiful condition too. They're dry, and uh, they're, they're pretty clean. You'll notice over in that corner there, uh, there's just a beautiful little set of them ready to harvest. So this is a really good find. This is Boomtown. This is exactly what I was looking for. You'll see underneath this log, there are these mushrooms growing here. They look like chanterelles. They got that same color, um, but you'll notice they're a lot more fragile, frail. They've got that same kind of cap. I want, I want to get right focus here. Um, but if you look underneath the, uh, the gills, on it are very blade-like and in addition if you take a look at the stem it's actually uh, hollow um, and it's not kind of meaty like the other one is you know it's very wet when I roll it in my hand so this is not a chanterelle you do not want to be uh, picking and eating these so again if you ever have any questions about the mushrooms you're picking don't do it. Make sure you've got somebody there, at least for the first few times, you know what a chanterelle looks like. And trust me, chanterelles are easy to identify once you get the hang of it. Um, so you shouldn't be too nervous. But this is, this is the one thing you might find out here that looks like a chanterelle, but is not. That's it for a day of mushroom hunting here in the Pacific Northwest. We came out for chanterelles. We found quite a few other mushrooms along the way. We found some rustlas. Uh, which you're not supposed to pick and eat, but you will see them, and they're quite large, quite interesting. We also found some lobster mushrooms, which were beautiful and edible, but are often very dirty, sometimes have a lot of bugs in them. So uh, be careful of those, but uh, definitely pick them if you see them. Uh, as I said before, don't eat any mushrooms unless you're sure what they are. Go out with somebody who knows what they're doing first. This video is just kind of to give you a, an intro to mushroom hunting here in the Pacific Northwest, but uh, don't feel confident quite yet about going out on your own. Try to go out with some others who, who've been out before. Um, this is our take for today. Probably a couple of pounds of chanterelles there and uh, a few more pounds of lobsters, but we're going to cut those down quite a bit. As I mentioned early on, one of, one of my big flaws that uh, you should not repeat is field cleaning. When you get your mushrooms, when you're picking them out in the, in the woods, definitely take the time to scrape the dirt off because the dirt will, will fall onto other mushrooms and it will be a real pain to clean when you get home. So clean them as much as possible. Lobsters are really difficult with this. 
Um, don't forget the important things that you need to have with you. Good shoes, decent basket, a sharp knife for cleaning your mushrooms, a brush if you can get one. Stay hydrated, drink lots of water while you're out here, and be safe. We were only out for three or four hours, had a great time. Mushroom hunting is easy, enjoyable, and you're definitely going to have a good time. So, Thank you very much.